Hello world, it's been a while, hasn't it? That's the animated version of me. Let's jump right into the topic, shall we? Throughout the course of history, disease outbreaks have ravaged humanity, sometimes signaling the end of entire civilizations. Today, I'll be talking about one of the most mysterious epidemics in history, which played a major role in the fall of the Roman Empire, the Antonine Plague. Before I begin, you see that red button there? That's the subscribe button. Please subscribe to my channel if you are new here. It really motivates me. Oh, just give me a second to settle down here. These boxes are really heavy. Thank you. First, let's answer the questions. Why is this plague called the plague of Galen? And who is this Galen? Claudius Galenus or Galen was present right from the beginning of the plague and thanks to him, we have a better knowledge about how the plague affected the patients and what physical impact it had on them. If you don't know who Galen is, check out my previous video of this series, it will really help. Struck in 166 AD and present in the winter of 168 to 169 AD during an outbreak among the troops in Anquilia. People suddenly started showing symptoms like fever, diarrhea, tonsillitis or sore throat. People felt nauseous, thirsty and were coughing. No, they did not have corona or influenza or just an upset stomach. On a closer observation, as documented by Galen, the diarrhea appeared to be black, suggesting intestinal bleeding. Coughing had a foul odor to it. Skin eruptions or rashes were seen, and the body distinguished to be red with black eruptions. People suffered for two weeks. Mostly the people who suffered died, but the ones who survived developed immunity. Many epidemiologists believe that the disease was smallpox, although there are still doubts about it. Since the doctors then believed in the four humor theory, many risky and life-threatening procedures like bloodletting were performed, which is the withdrawal of blood from a patient's body. Since the disease was novel, many people were attracted to various religious cults and their practices to stay safe. Yeah, it does not sound right, but it is what it is. The plague emerged in China before 166 AD, spreading westward along the Silk Road, and the trading ships headed towards Rome. Between 165 to 166 AD, the Roman military met the disease during the siege of Seleucia. Troops returning in the east spread the disease northward along the Rhine River. There are two legends on the emergence of the plague. Lucius Verse along with Marcus Aurelius ruled Rome then. And as the first legend goes, Lucius opened a tomb in Seleucia which released the disease as a curse. Fun fact, Lucius was a victim of the plague. Second legend suggests that epidemic spread was a punishment as the Roman soldiers opened a golden casket in the temple of Apollo in Babylon, allowing the plague to escape. Roman historian Dio Cassius estimated 2,000 deaths a day in Rome at the height of the outbreak. It's been suggested that a quarter to a third of the entire population perished and many military, Roman military fell ill and died, causing manpower shortage, weakening the empire's defense. This caused Marcus Aurelius to recruit any abled man. He freed slaves, criminals, prisoners of wars, and gladiators. Horrific death toll reduced the number of taxpayers, recruits for the army, candidate for public officers, businessmen, and farmers. At a time of increasing military expenses, the government revenues declined with the agricultural production. Scarcity of crops caused steep price increase of grains with decreasing food supplies, heavy job loss. Basically, the economy had crashed. With increase in number of deaths, cost of labor was getting expensive. 
Due to the absence of businessmen, craftsmen and financiers, there was profound interruption in domestic and international pay, meaning fewer taxes for the state which was already really low. All this left the Roman population in a very vulnerable position due to the constant invasions, novel disease, job loss, hike in the price of everything. They felt threatened, insecure and anxious. They suffered financially, mentally and of course physically. Although this plague arose during the time medical science was progressing, scholars started understanding the world more scientifically. The people of Rome weren't ready. No, if you think about it, no one can ever be ready. Our current situation with the SARS-CoV-2 virus or COVID-19 was unexpected and the countries with the best medical facilities are suffering to take control of the situation. If there's anything we have learned from history is that education and progress in infrastructure is really important and the rest of it is all erratic. That's it for today thinkers. What do you want me to talk about next? Comment down below. Stay safe, wear a mask and keep washing your hands and don't forget to keep thinking.